hello everyone so we are starting our dashboarding part so in previous video we have seen like how to create a proper title and how to create a proper logo in a dashboard in this video we are going to see few of the business requirement we have and based on that how to create a card visual that actually we are going to see so you can see here right total employee it is showing a male employee so this this all is nothing but a, this are the card so you can see right total male employee total female employee so how actually we are representing we are representing this with the card so that card how actually we can build in a dashboard that we are going to see for that we have a couple of business requirement and based on that only we are also going to see how to create proper card in a dashboard so let's start the first first question is like what is the total number of sales so what we have to do we have to create one card that card will tell me what is the total number of sales suppose total number of sales is 210 this is the total sales so this will be one card the second is like what is the total number of profit what is the total number of profit so total profit this will be another card that we will show total profit suppose total profit is 500 how many customer we have what is number of customer so we will show number of customer suppose number of customer we have 1000 now after that we will show how many order press what is the total unique order so suppose total unique order is 50 total order total order so these are the four card we are going to see so let's see so in previous video we have seen like how to create this title and uh, this logo right now we'll continue and we'll see how to create a card so for creating a card in the visualization this is the visualization window you can see right here we have a different kind of the options are available now we will search for the card so you can see one two three this uh, you can see right this is nothing but a this is a card so just click on this once you will click on this you will see this what we will do we can adjust this card now once you will adjust this card right in the card actually what we want to show we want to say what is the total number of sales so we have a we have loaded a global superset data right in a global superset data if i'll show you we have a customer order people and the return in a order we have a sales detail so this is the sales so if i will do sum of sales means i will get what is the total number of sales correct so i will go into the report view i'll click this card just click on this particular card now in the right side you can see the data right this is the data in a data what actually we want to do we want to find out what is the total sales so click on the sales if you click on the sales you can see what actually it is showing it is showing the sum of sales what actually it is showing sum of sales how actually you know this is sum of sales so you can see one field came here this field right here it is showing sum of sales if i will click on the drop down suppose you have to average you have to find out minimum you have to find out maximum you have to find out count you have to find out from here you can adjust but i have to show the total sales right so i will go with the sum only sum of sales only so this is the total number of sales actually now what we will do this card right whatever we have sum of sales we are showing let's try to modify it so in a build visual right in the left side in the second window you can see it format your visual so if you we'll click on this format your visual we get a two option visual and the general so in a visual we have a call out value so suppose whatever the number we are showing right this 12.64 million now you want to make it bold so i'll click on the bold you can see this became the bold similarly if you want to increase the height you can increase from here uh, suppose uh, i will make the 10 then it will become very less if i'll make the 50 you can see proper number actually it is showing now similarly if you want to change the color you can change that suppose blue i want so that will become a blue but i want to go with the i want to go with the black only black so i'll select the black and now display unit so as of now you can see 12.64 million actually it is showing but suppose you want to show in the thousand so if you click on the thousand it will get converted into the thousand similarly billion if you want to see in a billion number that also you can see but i will go ahead with the uh, million only by default auto one so like that actually you can change the size now the second thing is like one is the call out value so whatever the number we are showing right that actually we can adjust it now 
in a category level so you can see below the 12.64 sum of sales is written now that visual if you want to do so that actually you can do from here suppose i want to make it big like 30 if i'll do so you can say this actually it is showing this i will make it 20 so you can see sum of sale it is showing and also the uh, number now what actually we'll do again click here go to the visual so we have seen the call out and the category level now in the general option in the general option we, you can apply few effects and all also so first option is a uh, property what is the height for this particular card suppose i will make it the 500 so you can see the card size is increasing so like that you can adjust the height and all also but i will uh, go ahead with the 150 i'll make it 150 this so i have make it 150 that is the height and width i will go with the uh, 300 300 so this is the height size i am selecting the position if you what is the position the horizontal position suppose i will make this 500 so you can see this is coming here but uh, i want to start this with here so i will go with that only so this horizontal position and all also you can adjust from here in the property option now padding suppose if i will do padding 30 now let's see what is happening so from the top how many space like what is the space so that kind of the space actually you can adjust it so i will what actually i'll do from top also five space from left also five from right also means i want to be in the middle so that's what i selected all five 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 so padding also you can adjust here now coming to the title so suppose you want to make any title so click on this title now here you can write a title suppose i will write a total sales if you write a total sales you can see in the card right here total sales is coming means if you want to add any kind of the text also that text also you can add here but i don't want to add any text so i'll just remove this similarly the subtitle divider any text related spacing you can do so i'll just hide this because i'm not going to add as of now after that we'll see the effects in the effect suppose the background background is white right but suppose you want to change it i want to make it blue so that you can do it suppose you want to make it any other color so that you can do but as of now i will go ahead with the white only now coming to the visual so visual border so border also you can make it suppose uh, i want to make a, a rounded corner so if i'll increase this now you can see this card right from it became the rounded this card became the rounded previously it was a rectangle right now you can see from the side it became the round similar so round you can add i'll go ahead in effects what we have done in a visual border we have added the corner now after that shadow if you want to add a shadow that also you can add suppose color is i'm selecting black and uh, i want shadow in the inner so you can see it applied the shadow inner side so shadow we have seen visual border we have seen now what we'll do we'll see the date format so if you want to adjust any kind of the date format so as of now it is a sum of sales right so it's not but suppose any data format if you want to do you can do from here now we have another option like a header icon uh, that background that is not that uh, important similarly if you want to have a tool tip so suppose if i'll hover this then particular number should show right so if i'll click on the turn on now if i will hover right you can see sum of sale it is showing so this tool tip actually we can add so like this actually you can add a multiple visual multiple effects this is up to you the stakeholders will not ask you to do this but um, to show it properly in the dashboard you can apply a multiple effects and you can explore this so that's how actually we can do so we have created one now suppose we want to add one more right so what we will do so i just control c and control v one more visual got created now what i will do i will just click here we will show what is the total profit right so i have selected this particular card sum of sales what i will do sum of profit instead of sales what i will do i will do a profit so i will just remove this i will select the sum of profit sum of profit now you can see sum of profit actually it is showing now i want to make it uh, one more so i will just click here control c 
and if I do control V one more card will be created now here I want to show what is the total number of customer we have so if I do customer ID if I select customer ID so you can see it is showing some weird number the first customer ID right but I want to show the distinct customer so I will use the count of distinct customer this one this will tell me what is the count of the customer ID we have now again I will select this I will I will show another card I want to show what is the total number of order so in this case what I will select instead of customer ID order ID I will select so I selected the order ID here also I will show the count of distinct order ID so you can see count of order ID it is showing here this now let's try to adjust it so I will make it uh, proper so that it will look good uh, yeah so we have created a uh, four card one is showing the total number of sales one is showing the what is the total number of profit count of customer we have 1590 and also it is showing the count of order so this is what uh, this is how actually we can create a card uh, i hope you got it please do practice